Coming into summer, everyone wants to enjoy the great Australian outdoors. But whether it's a day on the water, a trip in the air, or a bush adventure, it's important to make sure safety is your number one priority. Having a properly registered GPS encoded 406 megahertz distress beacon gives you the best chance of being rescued in an emergency. When you activate a 406 beacon, satellites detect the signal and relay it here to the Rescue Coordination Centre in Canberra. If your beacon is GPS encoded, then given a clear signal, our team can pinpoint your location to within 120 metres. If your beacon is properly registered, then our team will not only know where you are, but also who you are and what your vehicle looks like and who to contact in an emergency. This can save precious time and prevent an expensive search being launched if your beacon is activated inadvertently. If you own an obsolete 121.5 MHz distress beacon, you should know that these are no longer detected by satellite. If you set one off, there is no guarantee that it will be heard. Don't rely on an expired beacon, and whatever you do, don't bin your beacon. The Rescue Coordination Centre receives several inadvertent activations per week. The inadvertent activation of obsolete 121.5 MHz beacons is the most common occurrence and most of the time they are found incorrectly disposed of at the tip. This means valuable search assets can be tied up rather than being on standby for real emergencies. If you accidentally activate your beacon, switch it off and contact the Rescue Coordination Centre on 1800 641 792. And remember, there is no penalty for inadvertent activation. So before you head off, make sure you have a properly registered 406 MHz distress beacon make sure you have the best chance of being rescued if you get into trouble. And don't forget that as we say here at AMSA, GPS is best. For more information or to register your beacon for free, head online to www.beacons.amsa.gov.au or by calling 1800 406 406.